At the risk of beating a dead horse, in one of his back-to-back-to-back-to-back 31 deranged video messages on Truth Social, Donald Trump explicitly called on Republican attorneys general across the United States to go after his political enemies. But before we unpack all that, if you haven't yet, please hit that like, subscribe, and the alert bell. Maybe check out my Patreon. I'd appreciate the support. All right, so I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this because it's not a novel video. We've discussed this content time and again, but I feel like we do have to discuss it or we risk normalizing it. We risk even those of us on the progressive left going, ah, that's just Trump. Trump's saying today what he said before. But what we have here, and I'm going to show you this clip, is a former president of the United States who is trying to become the future president of the United States, explicitly calling on people in power in his political party to go after his political opponents in retribution. So we'll play the video and then we're going to unpack it together. I hope that Republican district attorneys and attorney generals throughout the country are closely watching the tremendous weaponization of justice that is being utilized against me. There's never been anything like it. But you ought to watch. And frankly, it's an eye for an eye or it's fight fire with fire. What they're doing to our country is amazing. So Republicans, I hope you're watching. That is very clearly an explicit call to action for Republican, it's not attorney generals, by the way, it's attorneys general, uh, across the country to go after Donald Trump's political opponents. As I've said before, we here at Pondering Politics, and really anybody, conservative, liberal, progressive, libertarian, whatever, wherever your, your alignment is or your point on the political spectrum is, you should believe in the Uncle Ben Spider-Man ethic, that with great power comes great responsibility. And the more power you have, the more responsibility you have. And I've said this before in other videos. There is no single office, certainly not in this country, arguably not even the planet, which has more vested power than the President of the United States, Republican or Democrat, which means the President of the United States has more responsibility than anybody, than a citizen, than a congressperson, than a governor, than a senator, it doesn't matter, than a Supreme Court justice, to behave responsibly and ethically. It doesn't matter if it's Joe Biden, it doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump, it doesn't matter. Donald Trump, the former president who wants to be the future president, explicitly calling on his minions to go after his political opponents is disgusting and incredibly dangerous. And again, this alone, take nothing else, factor in nothing else, that those words right there, in my opinion, immediately make Donald Trump objectively worse, makes him objectively worse than any Democrat in this country because no Democrat says things like that. And can you imagine the backlash from the right, the middle, and indeed the left if a Democrat did say something like that? We have to stop grading Republicans and Donald Trump on a curve. It's ridiculous. But I want to play some more clips here because that's what he says. It's an eye for an eye, what they're doing in this country. Even Glenn Beck, perhaps just for academic purposes, right-wing commentator Glenn Beck, during a phone interview with Donald Trump, kind of asks him about this, kind of probes his logic here. So let's hear what they have to say in this clip. You said in, in 2016, you know, uh, lock her up. And then when you became president, you said, we don't do that in America. That's just not the right thing to do. That's yeah, what they're well, doing. Do you regret not locking her up? And if you're president again, will you lock people up? Well, I'll give you an example. Uh, the answer is you have no choice because they're doing it to us. I always had such great respect for the office of the president, the presidency, and uh, but the office of the president. And I never hit Biden as hard as I could have. And so clearly, Glenn Beck was trying to tee him up. He's like, listen, you, you basically showed mercy when you shouldn't have. Um, and do you regret doing that? Right. Again, that is a complete misreading of history. Donald Trump did fascistically, as an authoritarian would, explicitly campaign on locking up his political rivals. And then Glenn Beck saying, well, you didn't do it when you had the power. But we actually have reporting that Donald Trump did try to put pressure on the Department of Justice and the FBI to prosecute Hillary Clinton. OK, they just didn't cooperate. And I played this clip before, too. This was when Donald Trump was the sitting president of the United States in 2020 in an election going up against Biden. This is what he had to say. Unless Bill Barr indicts these people for crimes, the, the greatest political crime in the history of our country, then uh, we're going to get little satisfaction unless I win and we'll just have to go because I won't forget it. But these people should be indicted. This was the greatest political crime in the history of our country. 
And that includes Obama and it includes Biden. So Trump is over here trying to once again rewrite history, saying, I never went after Biden as hard as I could have. You were publicly on national television on Fox News, the single biggest news network uh, in the country, calling on your sitting attorney general when you were a sitting president to go after and indict your political opponent in the election, to say nothing of what he attempted to do uh, with respect to trying to pressure Ukraine into opening an investigation uh, in Ukraine uh, against Joe Biden, his political opponent. So uh, what Donald Trump said here is a verifiable lie. Go figure, right? But I also, just for giggles, want to draw you again to the attention of that, that same district, or excuse me, that same attorney general, Bill Barr, who in the previous clip, Donald Trump was asking, hey, please indict Biden, please indict Biden, go indict Biden. This is just this is what Attorney General Bill Barr had to say just a few days ago or a few weeks ago with respect to the notion of weaponizing the Justice Department. So I'm just wondering, do you fear an attorney general in a future Trump administration who would be? Yes. I, one of the things I'll have to weigh when if, if I'm confronted with Trump versus Biden uh, is my concern uh, of the kinds of people he would have about him. And he was always about tit for tat. You know, it's funny. Republicans are complaining about weaponization of the department. And I think it's a fair you know, thing to pursue. Uh, but Trump's made it clear he wants to weaponize the Department of Justice. Is that what you think his four years would be? That would be my concern. So that is the guy who ran Donald Trump's Justice Department saying it. Trump has made it abundantly clear. And the reason that I guess I'm so fired up about this is because when I saw that clip, because I didn't watch all 31 of Trump's back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back videos. I'm doing it piecemeal because there's only so much my sanity can take. I see these polls that have Trump and Biden relatively neck and neck, and some of that's understandable because we, even though we're technically in election season, we're in like the embryonic stages, like we are so far away from the election and there's plenty of time to change. But it is maddening how all of us, to one extent or another, and I guarantee, because I feel it too, I feel I've done it, and I'm sure actually many of you have too, even if you're fans of you know, this channel and the content, if you're progressive or whatnot, I think all of us, have just, after however many years of Trump, just baked, oh, that's just Trump. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's just Trump. And I imagine all of us would flip out even more if somebody like Barack Obama or Bill Clinton or Hillary Clinton or Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders or whoever, just any Democrat had said the same thing. We have to stop doing this. It's disgusting. Donald Trump is explicitly calling on the Republican Party to go after his enemies. And you and I and everybody have to we run the risk of being just buried in an avalanche of all of the crazy, unethical, corrupt, stupid things that Donald Trump has done over the years. You would need like an artificial super intelligence to track and catalog it at all times. It's like information overload, right? And it's like any one of these, any single one of these, Sam Harris, of all people, said it a long time ago or said it months ago when he was referring to Trump University, that the corruption inherent to the Trump University scandal is actually just objectively greater than anything that we now know to be attributed to Hunter Biden. That alone makes Donald Trump the most corrupt person to ever run for the presidency in the history of this country. But how many of you, how many, I don't think about it. I'm thinking I, somebody has to remind me about Trump University for me to even remember it because it's just so many. What Donald Trump just said at the beginning of this video in those 30 seconds makes him infinitely worse by far objectively than Joe Biden, Barack Obama, or any Democrat. And again, I want you to keep this in your back pocket the next time somebody says, tries to equivocate or try to create a false equivalence between Biden and Trump. Be like, I can show you in a single 30 second clip where Donald Trump demonstrates that he is just objectively worse in all ways than Joe Biden, and that if the shoe were on the other foot and Joe Biden said anything like that, I'm calling on all Democrat attorneys general to, because it's an eye for an eye. Imagine the scandal and the outrage. We have to stop grading the GOP on a curve, and we have to stop, you know, whatever instinct we have to go, <clears throat> wow, that was bad, but that was just Trump. This is absolutely not normal, and to normalize it is incredibly dangerous, and Trump's counting on it.